Tiger Lily Squad. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's Hey, welcome back to another video, Tiger Lily Squad Gang Gang. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all your post notification bells. Follow me on all social media platforms at Essence of Shay. You guys, we did it. We have completed the 30 day, um, is it 30 day? Or we just completed the four week Capri, cur Capri Curves, Keep the Curves, Drop the Fat Challenge. Um, Y'all, it wasn't, it wasn't a hard challenge per se. I don't think it was hard. I think what the issue, the, the thing that got me were them jump squats. Them jump squats was stupid. And lo and behold, I do recommend this challenge because not only does it give you like an outline of and a guided workout because a lot of times we don't know what the heck we doing especially because we're at home because these gyms are closed like they opened the gym by for my apartment complex but they took out like the weights and stuff like the hand weights so it was dumb it's no reason for me to be there it's just the machines that are in there now so um yeah but it gave me an outline i'm super proud of myself because i'm very i was consistent with it i did not give up the, on the workout and we'll get to the the food shortly but um usually i'll start something but i won't finish it so i'm pretty happy with myself that i was able to finish that um what i could say that i need to work out a little bit more uh, i say my stomach so my stomach still isn't as flat as I want it to be. Like, I'm not sucking in. This is me sucking in. So I'm not sucking in right now, but I want it to be just a little bit more flatter. I'm not quite sure if I want um, an abs, like if I want like a six pack, but I do know I want it to be a little bit flatter, mainly my body fat um is what i'll be working on on my next fitness cha challenge which i started why i'm drenched like this which will be the next video but i want to work on that and i want to work on my thighs like getting them a little bit more toned and getting rid of the like the cellulite so that's um what i want to work at moving forward fitness wise the workouts in itself were not that hard they, they were challenging, but they weren't hard. There were a lot of jump squats. There were a lot of um, uh, burpees. There were a lot of um, uh, high knees. There were a lot of those. So um, be prepared for your knees to be in pain, sis. And also, if you have weak upper body, which I do, I did struggle a lot with that and oftentimes I wanted to give <gasps> excuse me I wanted to give up but I didn't I took breaks but I didn't give up completely um as far as the uh, food goes so the first and second week I was doing amazing I didn't have any cheat days even on the weekends I feel like even if I did have something cheat cheat worthy um my definition of cheat wasn't cooking at home i would go like chick-fil-a or something and buy a salad um but it wasn't nothing crazy but the third week and this what usually happens with me i would go two weeks straight see some good improvement and then i'll be like okay well this means that I could go back to doing what I was doing before. Hands up if you're you're one of those people. So that was me. Like I was getting the munchies. So I would eat 
not junk food because I would eat what was in the house and I purposely bought healthy stuff, but I would overeat, overeat, and it would hurt my stomach. It would leave me bloated. Another thing with the food is that I need to figure out what what um, gives me bloating because I suffer with a lot of bloating and gas. And I probably wanna say it's probably broccoli because when I eat broccoli, I feel that, but I love broccoli so much, but I'm gonna have to cut on the broccoli. Also sugar, my sugar intake did not it like it did not stop it did decrease but it did not stop so i still put honey in my tea i still would eat like cake from time to time um i would have a lot of excess sugar like the banana like i would have a full banana instead of a half so there's little things that i could have uh probably adjusted and i would have lost more uh, weight and more my, I would have got more to my goal I really don't know how much I weigh because when I don't have a scale and so I didn't me measure uh, weigh myself before and after but I didn't measure myself so I'm gonna put my measurements from the beginning till now so you guys could see there wasn't that much difference in measure inches go and I want to say that's mainly because of the food um, I need to get a little bit more stricter with what I'm eating not really so not so much stricter but just cut down on certain stuff you know what I'm saying because if I get any stricter like I'm gonna eat grass like I think I'm, I found out what's good what I could live on I need to cut back on the butter when cooking I need to cut down on the sugar um, for sure and what else yeah those are my major things the fats and the sugar it should be healthy fats i bought this vegan butter and i thought okay well it's vegan butter what are you talking about no sis so <laughs> now i'm saying you just gotta you just gotta do a lot of research but um all in all i think this is a very good uh workout i do give it um a 10 out of 10 because it wasn't that hard to follow um it was a reasonable price i think it was like 55 dollars. it's not expensive um and then you get two workouts in one because she gives you the gym um side and she gives you the home side so because of the gyms have been closed i just stuck with the home so when the gyms open back up i can like fully open back up not halfway i could do the gym version so I, I do give this uh, a 10 out of 10. She did have a challenge where like you just send in your before and afters and you could win some money. I personally don't didn't feel like I did I did good but I didn't do that great so I didn't submit um, my after. I just been doing it here for you guys to see the progress but she has another challenge that's starting soon. I think it's like June 14th. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do my before and afters with that as for that one, because I think now that I've done it the first time and I know what to expect and what to do and what to improve on, I feel like it could be a little better. Um, also, when the fitness, on the fitness side. Uh, I want to start incorporating because I was you guys know I was do, going outside but I want to incorporate at least running a mile like fully running a mile every day or every other day like a whole mile not stopping just running a mile no matter how long it takes and just improve and improve and improve and lift up my stamina because my stamina is trash like my shins my shin spl splits or whatever they call they just start hurting while i'm running so then i just stop and i feel like me is because my body used to do this all the time but because it hasn't done it in a while it, it like it's like sis what what are we doing this is not what we do so yeah but all in all i enjoyed this challenge i do feel way better way better with my body um 
I know what makes me bloat. I know what I need to do if I have a couple of off days, which I did like the third week when I said I just was messing up. Um, that Sunday, no, 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 that weekend leading up to the fourth week, the last week, I did a detox, like a two day detox. And it just like flushed out my system. And I ate like crazy healthy those two days. Like it just, it just flush. I just, I just needed a flush out, almost like a restart. Cause my stomach was just hurting. It was just bulging because it hurt. It wasn't bulging because it was just fat. It just, it was hurting. So that means there was too much stuff. And it was just like stretching out my, it was just, I was in pain. So I did a detox and then uh, the fourth week, I felt back to normal. I felt like that's how I, sh I st that's how I started week three is how I started week four. I felt refreshed. I felt lighter. So yeah, had I not messed up in week three, I feel like I would have been good. I would have been better than I am right now, but it is what it is. Lesson learned. If you guys enjoyed these videos and this challenge, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think in the comment box below. Tell me if you see any changes in me. Um, did I motivate you to start a challenge? Um, are you doing any challenges that are free? Leave it in the comment box below um, because I think I want to incorporate this on the channel too because this is important to me. My hair is important, but also... Um, my body, my mental, everything is important as well. And I just want to educate you guys that, educate you guys on that as I learn too. Right? Okay. Um, I love you guys so much. See you later, Tiger Lily. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the